Groundhog Day. What's Groundhog Day? Again? Phil! 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 Punxsutawney Phil, ladies and gentlemen! Yep, some people place their happiness on whether or not that rodent sees his shadow on Groundhog Day. But it's a fun excursion. And it's not just a movie from February 12th, 1993. Groundhog Day. Loved that movie. <laughs> If he sees his shadow, that is six more weeks of winter. And if he does not see a shadow, that means an early spring, just two more weeks. It's a little chilly today, but I opted for no coat. I wonder if he's gonna see a shadow. The big question on everybody's lips. Yeah, they're chap lips. They're chap lips. Do you think Phil's gonna come out and see a shadow? Punks a tiny Phil. That's right, Woodchuck Chuckers. It's Now for a little bit of history, the Groundhog Day was created by a newspaper editor in Punxsutawney named Clymer Frias, who was part of a groundhog hunting club. Ew. They designated Punxsutawney Phil as the nation's official groundhog meteorologist. Today the celebration is led by a group called the Inner Circle who wear top hats and speak in Pennsylvania Dutch. By the way, my, that was my dad's first language, really, when he was a small child, so that's interesting to me. They uh, gather each year at a place called Gobbler's Knob to get Phil's weather prediction. I think it'll be an early spring. <laughs> Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> don't mess with me, poor chop. <laughs> and now a little bit of uh, further back information and uh, just something I stumbled across, pretty interesting. Uh, the holiday began as a Pennsylvania German custom in the 18th century and has uh, origins in the ancient European weather lore, L-O-R-E, when a badger or a bear was the prognosticator as opposed to the groundhog of today. <laughs> Let's see if that badger sees his, sees his shadow. Now, Groundhog Day, the movie, like I said, 1993, 31 years ago, but it's still one of my favorites <laughs> for some reason. I think it's a great lesson too. Phil Connor was kind of an obnoxious fella and kind of stuck on himself. And uh, he realized he was living the same day over and over. So he decided to better himself little by little since he had all this time until he became a completely different creature, basically. Did you sleep well, Mr. Connors? Did I sleep well? Would you like some coffee? Yes, please. Do you ever feel that way? Living the same day over and over? getting up, going to work on the same roads and doing the same things. I sure do. Maybe that's the lesson right there to try to change each day. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where's everybody going? To Gobbler's Knob. It's Groundhog Day. Now, Groundhog Day, the movie, like I said, 1993, 31 years ago, but it's still one of my favorites. For some reason, I think it's a great lesson too. Phil Connor was kind of an obnoxious fella 
and kind of stuck on himself. And uh, he realized he was living the same day over and over. So he decided to better himself little by little since he had all this time until he became a completely different creature, basically. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. And that must mean that we're up here at Gobbler's Knob waiting for the forecast from the world's most famous groundhog weatherman, Punxsutawney Phil, who's just about to tell us how much more winter we can expect. And one day, Phil runs into Needle Nose, Needle Nose Ned, Ned the Head. That would be nice to have so many chances though, wouldn't it? And I think we do, really, but we don't have the same day over and over. We have a different day to make things better. Each and every day, try to learn from the day before, I guess, is the, is the lesson here. <laughs> but while learning those lessons, you have to make a lot of mistakes and you may get slapped. How's that? But you keep trying and trying, learning from your mistakes. So little by little, he learns to, I don't know, just not take himself so seriously. And uh, he starts helping people instead of just looking out for himself. It's nothing, ma'am. I had the tire and the jack. Just be comfortable, all right? What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? You little brat? You have never thanked me! And eventually he becomes a whole new person. That's a lot of time to practice. I don't know how long he was in that loop, but enough to take piano lessons and become an expert pianist. Uh, Got the girl of his dreams, and uh, just became a better, better person. I'm standing here among the people of Punxsutawney and basking in the warmth of their hearths and hearts. I couldn't imagine a better fate than a long and lustrous winter. From Punxsutawney, it's Phil Connor. And that's Groundhog Day. It's a good, crazy little holiday, you might say. To just kind of think about those things. How can we learn from our day-to-day -day experiences? Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you very, very soon. I hope. Bye now. Just